Hey guys, I'm Denise Tan from Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects all across Singapore. With the current changes in the Prime Location Housing PLH model, should you go for a PLH flat? I'll break down some of the potential effects of the new PLH model and thereafter I'll share my thoughts and advice. In summary, the PLH model has some of the following restrictions. And for today's video, I'll be focusing on two main restrictions that could affect your future plans, especially the 10-year MOP period instead of the usual 5 years, as well as the title eligibility requirements. First factor, the 10-year MOP period. With the first batch of PLH flats being launched in November 2021 at Rocher, we expect them to be in the resale market possibly in 15 to 16 years. Let's assume you and your partner are 30 years old now. By the time you're ready to sell, you'll be about 45 or 46 years of age. In these 10 years, what if you outgrow the space of your flat or have other needs? All of your family nucleus change along the way. Imagine at 30 years of age, a 4-room flat would be sufficient for the both of you. However, when kids come along the way, you might need an extra room for your helper. With the COVID pandemic, some families I met said they needed to sacrifice one room as their work room. Do also consider that when you have kids, you may eventually wish to shift nearer to your in-laws so they can help you take care of your child or nearer your child's school so they do not need to spend so much time travelling. The government recently opened up more spots in Phase 2C and this would benefit parents who stay within 1km or 2km of the school. Also, imagine if you stay in Rocher and your child's school is in Bukit Timah or Clementi. That would mean 6-10 to 10 years of waking up earlier and commuting to and fro. Hence, a longer MOP gives less flexibility for parents if they need to shift. In my previous video, I spoke about how I upgraded my clients who were then considering between HDB, EC and condo before getting married. They chose to get a small condo unit and I recently upgraded them to a freehold landed property at 32 years old. As condos do not have any MOP requirements, my clients were able to flip the property at the 3-year mark to avoid any seller stamp duty and their new place has already appreciated by almost 3 to 500k. Hence, this 10-year MOP may come with some opportunity cost as you may miss out on other properties that have a strong chance of capital appreciation. <coughs> Second factor, title eligibility requirements at the resale stage. This will also mean a smaller pool of buyers when you want to resell. For example, singles and couples who earn over 14 k will not be eligible to purchase these flats in the resale market. These resale buyers will need to form a family nucleus, have an income ceiling of 14 k and not dispose any private property in the last 30 months. The last ruling is to curb wealthier downgraders from condo and landed properties who want to cash out and stay in the central area. My initial thoughts are that since these flats will only hit the resale market in 2035, I would expect prices of central region HDBs to still command strong prices as they are not subjected to the new restrictions on income, MOP period and eligibility. My advice for young couples who are considering the PLH model is to also consider perhaps an EC or HDB resale options in the central area as I foresee a strong demand even down the line. So, would you get a PLH flat? Let me know in the comments below. You can contact me via the link in the description box below if you'd like to know what other options you have besides PLH flats. Do like, subscribe and share. See you soon!